Hi there, everyone. Welcome to the last episode of 2014, episode 538 of the Mike from Maine show, the place where we do daily interviews with successful online entrepreneurs. This is your host, Mike Thomas, and today on the show, we have Karthik Ramani on, and we're going to be talking about a way that you can create directories inside of Facebook. Now, I know that doesn't sound super sexy, but here's the thing. What you can do with these is you can actually create local restaurant directories, directories of affiliate offers, directories of Amazon offers, all kinds of really creative stuff, and then be able to monetize them with advertising. That's where the secret is. And then also the secret is that you can use the power of Facebook to get traffic to actually see what you're creating on your directory. Let's get into it. Here's Karthik. We are here with Karthik Ramani. Karthik, welcome back to the show. Hey, Mike. Thank you for uh, inviting me again and uh, glad to be back. You're very welcome. Karthik just got back from a uh, a, a little bit of a world tour. He was off in Spain, skydiving, doing some crazy stuff that the internet uh, marketing lifestyle allows him to do. I'm but, I, but yeah, Karthik, you worked very hard this year. You've been putting out some uh, really great software uh, and, and adding a lot of value to the internet marketing community. Before we jump in and start talking about your uh, most recent product, uh, let us know a little bit more about uh, who you are and what you do. Uh, right now, I launch uh, products targeted at uh, uh, small businesses, helping them uh, uh, grow their subscribers, engaging their customers via Facebook fan pages. So, as you said, this year has been a very successful year, thanks to the uh, support of all the customers who who has trust in our products and uh, been supporting us. So, it's been like an awesome year and. Uh, uh, um, it's it's like really good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and you've done, you've been able to have this success because, in, in my opinion, you've been building products that actually help people. And when you create stuff that will will solve problems and issues that people are really having, then they're willing to pay you uh, handsomely for uh, for that assistance and for that software. And and for today's product that we're going to be talking about, it's uh, no different. Uh, you've created something called Social Directory. Uh, on the sales page here, it says simple point and click all inclusive app that will completely change the way you market on Facebook. Uh, there's no installation, no need for a server. You don't even need a domain name. So what's this all about? So uh, this is an idea that my partner Chad Nicely got when we was, uh, when he was having a drink with his friend. Warren, uh, his friend friend's name was Jeff. So uh, he he was a part of a group, uh, an offline marketing group, wherein uh, people were. Uh, uh, I mean, wherein there is this Facebook group in a particular area, let's say in New York. Mm-hmm. So all the restaurant owners were a part of that group. Customers were a part of that group. So today I go to a restaurant and I see okay the service is bad. So I go and put in that group. Uh, in this restaurant, the service is bad. So the restaurant owner comes and says, "Sorry, we had a new cook, and sorry, the uh, the waiter was a new waiter." So something something of that sort. There was not a proper uh, a communication platform within Facebook, which which would connect all the offline businesses. So uh, when when Jeff was talking about uh, this this group, uh, Chad got an idea. Why not we create a directory? with the whole review system inside of Facebook, wherein any business owner can have their listing and uh, people, authentic people connected with their Facebook accounts can leave reviews, which which would be like authentic reviews with their uh, name, profile, picture, etc. so that uh, uh, when somebody leaves, uh, and there, there was not a social interaction in it. Say, let's say uh, I go and leave a review, the restaurant, so, the restaurant owner who is subscribed to that uh, uh, listing would get notifications of mm. this. Let me let me interrupt you for a second, Karthik. Like, there's some co- interesting things that I've heard so far um, with with directories and, and, and different things that people have built. I've actually tried building directories for on WordPress websites, and there's a problem that you have 
with people now they, they don't want to leave Facebook they want to stay inside of Facebook they trust Facebook and when they're inside of there uh, that that kind of community works together you mentioned the notifications when you make a post and you respond to something you get an automatic notification it's not coming to your email it's coming directly inside of your Facebook you're staying inside of Facebook also the uh, the whole thing with with reviews being authentic or not when you see these reviews on other websites people uh, they, they put up fake reviews they don't put their real name they're anonymous with Facebook it's like you've got your identity there you've got your picture right there next to it so the reviews will become more in my opinion more authentic there's that that uh, anonymity is gone uh, and uh, it's going to be much more you're going to be much more trusting when it comes to to listening to what these people have to say yes yes even uh, when you see uh, the big brands they've gone to facebook and uh, let's say if you uh, take up lenovo laptops so they have a big facebook fan page with uh, a lot of people liking it people complaining it and them responding to it but what what we thought was we'll have a centralized hub for all the businesses it can be in any niche yeah so yeah so so uh, so we created a directory within facebook then we thought what if uh, the directory owner could sell banner spots within facebook right within facebook so let's say uh, there, there is a listing for this restaurant we can have the menu as a banner on the left hand side of that so the restaurant owner could uh, pay pay this directory owner so uh, we what we were thinking of all the ways in which it would be useful and all the ways using which this can be monetized so we've implemented every every single part of it that's and that's always the trick isn't it you have to make something that is useful for people and that's going to help them out and at the same time you want to get paid for for the work that you're doing if you're going to spend the time to set this up and get this running uh, and and to be advertising for it or to be sharing it around or whatever you want to make sure that you're you're getting paid for your your hard work let's let's take a look inside Karthik I'm interested to see how this all works okay uh, hold on for a second let me share my screen uh, let me know when you can see it yes we've got it okay so we are inside the members area of social directory it's a web based URL uh, with a username password you can get in so there is nothing to download this is not WordPress you don't have to uh, uh, install anything you don't need a hosting you don't need a SSL certificate you just need a I mean Facebook account to get started with this nice. you don't have to create any uh, uh, custom apps put an app ID we've done everything simpler for you so oh really there's no because a lot of times with these Facebook plugins and, and software you have to go in you have to create an app in the and the developers area which really I mean it only takes once you've done it a couple times it only takes about a few minutes but still it's it's an extra step that you need to do with, with this you don't even have to do that no nice so uh, I go and click on create directory let's say the directory name would be restaurants in New York City so uh, this would come under local marketing I'll just go and choose a template so it can be now now that we've ha we've created the directory the next step is to create the categories in the directory so the first category would be Chinese restaurant in NYC anything or whatever uh, would be the restaurant name so, so you could just yes. name it I mean if it's already directory was New York restaurants you could have like just Chinese and Italian and American all the different all the different okay. types yeah so uh, the offline business owner can have their logo added to this uh, uh, category then if if you're gonna sell this as a service right now I'm gonna cover the offline angle first mm -hmm. uh, if you're gonna use it as a services uh, you just uh, click on enable enquiry form so you 
as an offline business owner, you create the list of all the restaurants in New York City. So now you have the authority. Now you can go to restaurant owners and tell tell them, I have a bussing fan page with activity, with actual customers hanging out, looking out for reviews, looking out for places. Now, do you want to put your menu besides your listing? Mm-hmm. Pay me $50 for it, $100 a month for it. So now when you have that kind of an authority, people would start listening to you. Uh, unlike randomly going to a restaurant and telling, okay, I'll create a fan page for you, I'll create a uh, uh, directory for you. People won't understand. Once you have a, da- a, a, a directory with uh, activity busing in it, with all the listings, with, with the directory pages looking so beautiful and professional, people will definitely listen to you. So it opens, uh, I mean, it opens the gate and it's especially no one wants to be the first restaurant. Once you've already gone in there and you've created the directory and you've got it all set up and you're starting to get people inside of there and you can say, I've got 500 people that are, are part of this group already uh, and we've got uh, 500 restaurants listed here. Would you like to be, uh, would, would you like to be featured here? Would you like to have your advertisement here? It's a much easier sell than, oh, we haven't done this before. We're just getting started. Do you want, do you want to be part of our experiment? Yeah, even if you, the, the main thing with this is even if you start out uh, and uh, have uh, create a new directory in, in, in your area, you you have the uh, uh, the headway to become the leader in this because there is nobody creating directories inside Facebook with their banner spots, premium listings, etc. And since the main purpose of having this within Facebook is uh, one small thing you can say is when you drive a traffic, you can directly drive it to the fan page tab. But more than that, when people comments on this page, so when I go and comment on it, it will get updated to my Facebook that Karthik commented. So my friends are going to want to see what Karthik commented. So yeah. they'll go and see. They can like that page. So the 500 people can, in these types of offline businesses, can grow virally to a very big number in a, within a short uh, period of time. So. That's that's the main uh, purpose of having the directory within Facebook fan pages. Awesome. So we have banner spots. Uh, right now, I'm not, I'm not gonna uh, add any banner spots. Just gonna hit on save. Okay. So uh, uh, the category is let's say Italian food. Category one. So under Italian food, I can add a listing. If I add a new category, Indian food, under Indian food, all the Indian food restaurants in New York. So you could go in and you could start listing all the different all the different restaurants that are uh, Italian restaurants in the area that you are that you're focusing in. Right, right. So now with an Italian food, I go and add a new listing. This would be the uh, the restaurant name. Uh, you have the banner settings, top banner, bottom banner, the contact settings. So uh, a main cover photo of the restaurant. If the restaurant has a Facebook fan page, we link it to them. So this is one other monetization option. If they don't have a fan page, what happens when somebody clicks on that fan page is when the business owner goes and sees and clicks on the fan page, it will open up a contact form asking, would you are you interested in our fan page services? A kind of inquiry forms which would uh, lead back to you. And uh, uh, the business phone number, the address, the Google map. So if you just put in the uh, coordinates of that particular restaurant, or these da- data is directly available for any location if they are a part of Google Locals. You just put that and when you insert it, Google map would uh, I mean, uh, give out the directions. And uh, Enable reviews, enable rating and reviews. So we also have a star rating. Cool. So you enter all these details and uh, this data would be, uh, this listing would be published under Italian. So it's like very, very, very simple, very straightforward. Let me uh, just go ahead and show you some directories that we've already created just to save time. Yeah, it looks it looks really simple, Karthik. I, when I did my directory on WordPress, I was trying to do all this custom stuff and trying to make things work together and do it by hand. And let me tell you, I, I spent a lot of hours trying to 
trying to get it figured out. Plus, I had to do it on a WordPress site. There wasn't the viral aspect. There wasn't the the, the traffic aspect that Facebook can can bring in. Right. The most uh, important thing that we feature uh, uh, or try to strive on every product of ours is the simplicity. So if somebody buys it, even uh, even a, a normal uh, a skilled internet user should be able to use it. So all our products uh, identifies a particular problem and solves that particular problem and makes it easier for you to implement the problem. That's that's what we uh, try. So let, let me just, let me just also say one more thing there that I think is important. There have been other WordPress plugins or directory creators that I've seen in my time online. One of the biggest problems with them is that they you create them and then they forget about getting traffic in where this addresses that issue of creating a community uh, of people coming in joining and having that traffic coming in so I like that right so uh, this is a directory so it says Casper's restaurant directory so all the rest so you create a separate fan page for this have a nice uh, timeline cover done and now when when somebody sees it when you see this you see this as an authority page right so mm -hmm. it's it's professional a directory tab is installed then you have the type of restaurant american food mexican food chinese japanese thai so these are all the restaurants in uh, uh, casper wyoming then you have the individual restaurants johnny's day dinner bob's dinner the different restaurants so, for example, by default, you can just set which, which one do you want to be featured on the default page. So, right now it's Johnny J's Jenner. And the address, the fan page, in case uh, if you have entered their number, quick call, which would uh, open up with your local call application. So, okay. I just clicked it's on it. open and, up yours right now. <laughs> yeah. Click call to make this call. So the application, and then the main part is we have these uh, banners here on the left hand side, uh, which is gonna these banner spots. When you have traffic, you can have like any types of banners here. So you can sell these banner spots, and if you'd like to advertise on this page or need to increase your business, click here. So when you click here, there is an opt-in form that will. Uh, open the contact us form when when you submit the information. Then we have this review system. So uh, for Johnny Johnny J's dinner, you can you can give a star rating, two star rating, five star rating. So if I give a two star rating, uh, the food is not that great. Sorry. So I just submit my review. Uh oh, Johnny's Johnny J's diner isn't going to be too happy about that. No. <laughs> so so once you once you submit that review, uh, hold on for a second. Okay, two star rating. The food is not that great. So. Uh, the restaurant owner can come and reply for this, stating that why the service was bad on that day. I mean, it's it, it just creates a com open communication uh, social forum. Sure, and you and you could go and you could monitor that, and when you see bad reviews, you could always send that review to the to the restaurant and say, "I just want to let you know that you you got this review. Uh, did you want to respond to it?" Right, right. Uh, maybe uh, as of now, uh, we don't have that option. But when when you comment, you get subscribed to that. So the fan page owner, by in general, would be notified, notified nice. for all the all the all the updates. Whoever, uh, I mean, if he's interested on this listing, if when 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 he subscribes for this, uh, he gets an alert. Okay, new comments when somebody comments. Cool. So that way, that way, it would be a notification platform. But uh, as you said, uh, maybe we can we can look at a subscribe option wherein uh, uh, for every comment, I mean, if if somebody if a fan page on a subscribe this, that is uh, a notification every time. Yeah, that would be that would be an interesting idea. Okay, so you can you can do the call, you can do the reviews, and this is for specifically this one is for 
for local restaurants, for local businesses, local like restaurants, you could do, um, I don't know, you could do any kind of, any kind of niches. It makes most sense for restaurants, but uh, I, I could see you doing it for bars. Uh, you, you could do it for, um, I don't know, well, local any- pet stores or I don't know, any, anything that was, that made sense. Coffee houses here. <laughs> yes. Car dealers. Car, there we go. Car dealers. I mean, that's a, that's a niche where a, a sale is worth a, a lot more than, than at a restaurant. So yeah. definitely uh, a, a, a bigger niche there. Uh, and car related, a lot of services, car spa, car detailing, car interior. So anything, I mean, uh, it, uh, if we've given the platform, it's uh, I mean it's up to uh, up to you to see opportunities around you. There is like opportunities everywhere. Whichever opportunity that uh, I mean suits you, or uh, you have a little bit of knowledge with, you can you can just enter that and dominate the market. Cool, cool. And I think you can also do this for affiliate marketing as well. Yes. Say uh, now uh, I have an uh, this is chats. Uh, uh, fan page so in chats fan page what we have done is we've created all the products social media product facebook advertising products the categories so under the categories we have the products so there is not an active campaign right now but uh, uh, this is the uh, the possibility wherein uh, you you review different products under different niches right so mm-hmm. you can have all the categories video marketing social media uh, Facebook, whatever categories of products that uh, uh, relates to your list, you can have the product categories and the products and you're doing an interview, you can have the interview video here, you can give your affiliate link and then you make a post. Uh, let us know, uh, uh, let us know, uh, I mean, you could, create, you could create a review website, kind of like MikeFromMain.com, you could create a site with different reviews of all the different products out there and not even have to, to use a, a WordPress website like I do, not have to deal with, with hosting and, and, and stuff and just have it all inside of Facebook. Right. Cool. So you have this angle and also you have e-commerce angle. Let's say uh, you wanna, you're uh, selling products within Amazon. You want to put any Amazon product with your affiliate link, a set of related products. You want to sell T-shirts, everything for everything. We have a uh, different kind of templates that you can just load your pictures, your links and have this review system. So in this review system, you, 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 you can just start off with a, a more detailed information on your product. When you leave a comment, your friends will see it. So it spreads. It, it has an option to spread virally without you spending a lot on traffic. But if you're ready to send some uh, traffic using Facebook, so Facebook is the biggest form of uh, paid traffic which is available right now. So, and uh, all all the customers have started using Facebook. The basic, uh, uh, I mean, how to set up uh, the basic ads and uh, run it within your fan page. You, you you to start off even when you experiment, it, it there is no definite cores on it. It's just that you just have to start, you have to experiment and uh, get the smaller, cheaper uh, clicks. Yeah, and people are always saying that it's cheaper to to promote p- different uh, pages and, and tabs and stuff on on Facebook than it is to send traffic outside of, of Facebook. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, in, a, in a lot of uh, our tests, we've, we've seen that uh, when you send it to an uh, uh, page outside of Facebook, the cost would be on a little bit higher side. Uh, when you have it, I mean, when you have all the traffic here within Facebook, then uh, you 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 get it for a better uh, 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 pricing. So, so that's that's one advantage as well. Let me ask you this, Karthik. I get this question all the time. For something like this, what happens when you view it on a mobile device? So when you move, move, uh, view it on a mobile device, we've made these templates mobile friendly as well. Let me just uh, go to the members area. Okay. So uh, I go to the dashboard. Uh, 
we we have we have a shortened uh, url for this mm -hmm. so you you copy the uh, you copy the shortened url and what happens is uh, it's a system by uh, by default facebook fan, fan pages are not mobile friendly the tabs doesn't work well on mobile so what we have done is you you can have a url wherein if you take this url when you load it in a desktop application uh, it doesn't uh, it loads the desktop i mean the facebook version when when you load it in a mobile application it loads the uh, mobile version so it's called a magic url so this is a magic url say for example mobilar.io so you can even have these pages as a direct link without facebook in case you don't want facebook in case you want a direct url you can have that when you load this url from a mobile device it it will load the mobile version so we made it in such a way so that uh, you don't lose traffic anywhere these days people most of the people who who use uh, facebook i'm i'm like on uh, my uh, mobile facebook throughout so so it's okay so this that link right there you can use that link and view it on your on your iphone or on your ipad or your android on yes. on those different devices right cool cool okay so is that is that pretty much the the offer that people are going to see on the sales page? Is that the the first one? Yeah, this is the first one. Yes. Cool, cool. And as far as as one time offers go, Karthik, what can people expect to to see after they've they've purchased this? Okay. Uh, once 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 they purchase this version, uh, this is a version wherein they get uh, eighteen templates. Six templates under each niche. We've seen the offline niche. Then we have uh, list building, which is a part of OTO, the first uh, upgrade. If if you want to build list, if you want to have an opt-in form connected to all the major autoresponders, we have the API integrations with all the major uh, autoresponders, Aweber, GetResponse. Even if your autoresponder is not listed here, you can, uh, I mean, we have the option of uh, saving the leads under an option called uh, my subscribers based on the directory so that that would be the part of uh, the first upgrade wherein uh, you you can have opt-in forms to build your related email list so once you build these lists you can just keep sending updates when you when you add a new restaurant in that area you can uh, or when there is a new uh, uh, coffee shop that's coming up or new menu that's added you can send out updates to customers to get them back to your fan page and from there they can call the restaurants or they can make a booking but let me let me let me ask you this okay so for the for the first upgrade you can integrate your autoresponder is that correct yeah you can integrate your autoresponders that's one of the features and you can build an email list so that you can email right. people and tell them uh, hey we've got we've got, we've got new stuff going on here come back and check out the directory right and also the banner spots you can have like for each of the listings there is a banner spot let's say this restaurant doesn't want a banner spot uh, when people come to my page i don't want to see my competitors uh, banners on my restaurant page so that way these restaurant owners can pay the the offline uh, uh, i mean uh, the owner of the directory a premium price to have a full page full width uh, listing without the banners that's also a part of the upgrade uh, okay so it can get rid of those ads on the left hand side so that only their listing is showing they don't see other people's ads right got it got it okay and, and they also have uh, the the first upgrade comes with a developers license so they can uh, add their clients give access to it set up directories for them and uh, make them change the listing so for example in this case they can make a, a direct uh, a local business owner uh, uh, give a client access to them so their photos their page their banners everything the local business owner can change oh so you could actually go in and and you could sell directories to local business owners and, and have and create a, a directory for them if you wanted to and list all their different products that they have for sale uh, and, and make a full directory for them or just let them you could sell it at them access for them to make their own directory right yeah so uh, you create directories for them and uh, 
since you want you would want to have control you create the directories for them okay. you, uh, you 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 enter their email uh, create a password for them and uh, give access to a specific directory which is created for them so they can edit that and change the details on that particular directory so that way they have to keep paying you on a monthly cost that you agree upon uh, so they can't just get the directory and then run away no nice okay yeah, cool so we are hosting all the data so uh, everything they wouldn't have access to it so you have the as a, a directory i mean as a social directory owner you have access to or full control over the directories that your clients create and you create so and you do you do you get access to their to their facebook page how does that work so uh they'll have to make you a manager of their facebook fan page mm -hmm. then you when you when you try to install this directory on a facebook fan page in the final step you just have to select that directory from the drop down they just have to make you a manager okay and, and you have instructions on how to do all that inside yes awesome awesome okay so that's that's the first one time one time offer so uh, there is no limit on the number of uh, fan pages in this the basic version has a limit of 20 fan pages and it's for personal use mm -hmm. when you purchase the and the basic version costs 17 dollars hmm. one time fee that's it nice okay because so the basic version is 17 dollar one time fee uh, and there's going to be an early bird discount that i'll tell you guys all about when we uh, at the end of the at the end of the interview uh, and then the the first one time offer is it's the unlimited you can use it on other people's facebook pages uh, you can sell it as a service to other people uh, that's first the first one and, and also you can use you can integrate it with autoresponders with the right. with the first one um, what about what, what about the second one no also uh, I, I just have something more to add oh, go ahead extra nine premium templates for the developers license apart from the basic uh, users get 18 templates the pro version user gets nine more templates so they have like 27 templates in total okay so more more, more options to, as uh, the way that you can make your your layout look for because you you showed us just a you only showed us a few of them there's actually a bunch more in there as well and if you want even more of them then you can upgrade right right also come on i missed this one so with the pro version uh, we also have a feature called bulk upload so we're going to give you a, a csv file in the csv file you enter all the directories that you look upon in your area and create a simple single excel file you just click on browse button import it the whole directory is created for you so you don't have to go in and input them manually it will all be created for you yes yeah karthik this is a pretty big thing that you missed here uh so you you'd go in it would it would do the name the email the phone number the the uh it says ip address did you did you mean the actual the address of the location no no no, this one, this one is the enquiries part. So if somebody submits an enquiry for that particular directory, so you have enquiries based on all the directories. So you can contact them. You have their phone number. Ah, okay, I get it now. So this is okay. So people are are making inquiries about about getting about getting just, services from you. Getting uh, first thing is now. Let's say in New York, I I have uh, I create an Excel file and import all the. Restaurants, and now I have people uh, commenting on it. People start, I mean, some traffic on it. Now, when a restaurant owner sees that, oh wow, my restaurant is listed here, but no, I don't have a fan page. So if they don't have a fan page, when they click on this button, um, this one fan page, what what would happen is if they have a fan page, it would go to their fan page. If they don't have a fan page, or if we don't, if we leave that place blank. It would open up an inquiry form, which would which would uh, uh, ask for okay, uh, do you want to uh, create a fan page? Do you want uh, fan page related services? In whichever way you set it up. Nice. Okay. So you're it's it's lead generation. It's it's lead generation. So you you first provide the value. You first list them. Okay. When I see my name or my product listed somewhere, I'm I'm very happy. Then there is this instant credibility factor okay we're talking with somebody who has an established uh, uh, presence I would want my business to be listed there I would want to generate leads out of it makes sense makes sense 
Okay, so that's that's the that's the first one time offer, right? Yes. Okay, and the, the I know there's an, there's another one. Yes. So for people who would want to sell rebrand and sell social directory as their own, we have a white label version. So what is what does that mean exactly? So uh, we would have the whole setup on an unbranded domain. So as of now, we are selling the basic version for seventeen dollars. You upgrade for sixty-seven dollars. So there are if there are a lot of people who are looking for quality products that the end users want. When you, when you white label a product or when you want to sell a product as an affiliate, what is the most important thing? The product should be like really good. It should it should solve a problem. It should it is it should be something new what the people want. So this is something uh, new that we have done. The banners and everything right within fan pages. So this as a whole would sell really well. So people can purchase white label version for it instead of social directory. They can have uh, uh, their own branding. Let's say you you put Mike from main directory. The whole thing comes in an unbranded domain name. Then you sell out licenses to your customers. Oh, so for example, I could, if I wanted to, I could uh, I could buy the I'd have to buy the first product, social directory, and then I could buy the white label version and go on and I could sell this without you and make all the commissions like all, all the money would go to me yeah how much uh, is there a is there are there any rules to that like do I need to sell it for a certain price can I give it away uh, no. is, is there anything like what are the rules with that you you'll not be able to give it away you can that has to be a price so so that uh, uh, all the people we would be restrict restricting the number of uh, white label licenses we would not sell it for more than uh, 200 people so that uh, there is enough uh, uh, I mean uh, bandwidth for every white label customer to go go out and uh, sell this as their own so uh, except that you cannot give it away there is a restrictions on the number of licenses you create per day and that would be like different uh, licenses let's say 200 licenses 300 licenses say even if you uh, uh, let's say if you have by the 200 license package, mm -hmm. if you sell it for fifty dollars for the pro version, that that would be the 200 licenses would come down to ten thousand. Yeah. So I mean, if, if you're gonna you're gonna have enough so that you're you're not gonna be worried about about uh, not having enough to sell. And I'm sure if that if that ever happened, if you if you were having that problem, you you could talk to Karthik and, and negotiate something. And, right. and get another and get another uh, white label license yes. for that. So cool. Okay. So you can. Does it come with any sales materials for it, or is that something you have to do on your own? Uh, as of now, we don't have any sales page or sales materials. Uh, but last time when we did a white label, uh, we gave away the video that we used in our uh, main offer. Cool. And you could always, if if anyone, if this is something that interests uh, that interests you then what I would do is I would take a look at the sales page that you guys have and not copy it, but create something similar and look at what, look at the different angles and the way that you guys are selling it. And you could create something that is, that is similar to it. I'm, I'm sure that if you show it to Karthik and he, he'll say, okay, that's fine. Then you can, you can go along with that there. Okay. Cool. Any content in the sales page, you can, you, you're like free to uh, take the content, rebrand it and use it. So. Awesome. Cool man. Okay, so there's the white label version for people that want to go out, go ahead and, and and sell this on their on their own. And I think there's one more one time offer. Yes. Uh, after this, for people who would want help with uh, selling this, uh, help with approaching clients, uh, help with the basics, anything from basics to fan page. So we have like a three week uh, training session with Chad. So in that in that live training, you would have uh, access to uh, Chad and me with any questions that you have. Say for example, how much can I price it, or how to approach. So any any questions that you you would have related to selling this, and uh, the easiest way to approach clients, everything everything related to local marketing. Chad is an expert in local marketing. He has had like several local businesses before he got into. Uh, the product development. So uh, uh, 
he would be covering uh, a, a lot of details he has his own community local marketing immersion so uh, you would be a part of that uh, community as well yeah, so you you're kind of you're kind of the the software creator aspect of this product launch and chad your partner is the guy that's actually doing uh, a lot of a lot of local marketing himself so i'm sure he'll be very active in in that uh, in that event there so okay so that's for anyone who wants to learn how to take the, the take this this tool because that's what it is it's a tool and you can take it and he'll give you methods and strategies uh, so that you can go ahead and start monetizing it and starting 2015 off uh, on the right foot uh, creating directories creating value for uh, for other businesses creating directories uh, that are going to make money for you from affiliate marketing and promoting different products um, I think the the biggest point here that I wanted to stress is whenever you are trying to to make money online or offline, if you're not creating value, if you're not creating something that is going to help out other people, then you're really, if you're just trying to think, how can I make money for me, 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 then you're going to lose. Like You need to be thinking about how can I help other people? How can I spread the word for other people's businesses? How can I make other people money when you start thinking about how you can make other people money uh, and, and how you can share their message that's when other people start uh, helping you as well I've experienced that in my own business I'm sure you've experienced that in your in yours as well Karthik uh, it's and this is the kind of thing where it's it's help others first and and the money will come in later right when you when you start providing value when you see these big online marketing forums any forum for that matter once you build your authority, the money would come automatically. The first thing is to build your authority. Now you have a chance to build your authority on anything that you're interested in. We've just simplified the technical work for you. So you like, you're passionate about something, uh, you're passionate about uh, selling stuff on Amazon, passionate about you want to build your email list or uh, anything, even, even small hobbies. You, you can create a directory to, uh, I mean, uh, bring all the like-minded individuals into that directory. So when you own that directory, when, when you go and comment, when you, when you keep talking, when you keep replying, when you keep mediating, you become the authority figure. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, Karthik, thank you so much for coming on the show today. I know you just got back from your, from your crazy trip. I'm sure you're, you're exhausted from, from that. Is there anything else that you wanted to mention before we we finish up uh yes uh, tomorrow at 10 o'clock we have a webinar as well so in this webinar we would be covering more detail the the offline uh, the offline aspects and all the possibilities about this tool in a live call so uh if you if you're free at 10 a.m eastern standard time uh if you can drop in the link with your review mic so people can join join the webinar definitely i'll put that link right above the uh interview for anyone watching this before the launch uh, i'll have the link for the interview also stay tuned for after where i'll be telling you about a an early bird discount that you can get in on karthik thank you so much for coming on and best of luck with your launch yeah thank you so much thank you so much mike i hope you enjoyed the interview today with karthik if you are interested in picking up a copy of Social Directory, the official launch time is 11 a.m. Eastern on Friday, December 19th. But of course, I've got the in on an early bird discount. If you want to grab it at a discounted price, come back from 9 to 11 a.m. Eastern on Friday and you can grab it and save a little money and also get my special bonuses. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.